Lowe has headed to the conference box to see the Arrows starting to roll the runway. I'll hand you over to squadron leader Mike Lee from the Red Arrows. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to what hopefully will be a dry yearbook set this morning for the uh, display from the Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team to Red Arrows. I'm squadron leader Mike Lee. I'm Red Ted, the ground supervisor and road manager for the Red Arrows. It's my job to get you looking in the right place to make sure you don't miss anything off the display. It's been a uh, difficult year for the Red Arrows, I'm sure most of you are aware. And during a, uh, a disjointed winter training period, we took the decision to reduce the seven aircraft display for the 2012 season. And the display hasn't lost any of its dynamic properties, but we are intending to uh, return to our full complement of nine for the 2013 season. So the team are lining up now for what we call a display takeoff. Reds one, two, and three at the front. There's four or five in the middle, and uh, bridge six and seven in the back. Power, parking brake. Enough about <laughs> nitrogen for error, is there? On the far left of the flight, 
station as we can tell on is Red 5, squadron leader Martin Higgins. Higgy is the team's executive officer and has rejoined for the 2012 season, having previously been a team member from 2005 to 2007. He's a former full flying instructor and Tornado F3 pilot, having seen operational service in Iraq and as the commander of the Air Defense Flight in the Falkland Islands. With the smoke going off to our left hand side, the team have formed Flanker and the outside pilots have to anticipate their control efforts to keep the wings straight. So listen in to Red One's commands. They present the Flanker. Now! As the smoke comes on, Red One has called the team into Phoenix formation for an emotional part of this year's routine. Yeah, we know it's when they no one else does. Front, red to four and five on the outside of the formation will smoke red, as we remember our friends and colleagues, Flight Lieutenant John Egging and Flight Lieutenant Sean Cunningham, who were both tragically killed in separate accidents last year. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our memorial bend for Eggman and Sean. Eggman. Continuing with the theme of remembrance, 2012 sees the long-awaited unveiling of the memorial to the Royal Air Force and Commonwealth Air Group from Bomber Command, who lost their lives during World War II. The memorial in Green Park in London will honour the 55,573 young men who, all volunteers and an average age of only 22, gave their lives for our freedom. In fact, the memorial is due to be unveiled in Green Park on Thursday, so please watch BBC Two for the footage of that. Ah, From our right hand side, like the red, white, and blue, the Vixen roll for the personnel of Bomber Command. <laughs> is one of our first year pilots, Fred Four, by Lieutenant James McMillan. McSee was born in the UK, but moved to New Zealand at the age of 10, where he eventually joined the Royal New Zealand Air Force. He transferred to the Royal Air Force in 2002, becoming a Hawk flying instructor and flying operationally in the Harry huh? GR9. With the smoke on now, the team are forming our largest formation shape, which is Concorde. The four aircraft on the wings will now drop back to be Alongside Red 7, directly in the back of the formation. This is Concorde. The second jet from the right as we look tail off is being flown by another of our first year pilots, Red 2, Flight Lieutenant Martin Pert. Pert is another former Hawk flying instructor. He was the solo Hawk display pilot in 2006, eventually flying the Harrier GR9 operationally in Afghanistan before joining the Red Arrows this year. With the smoke on now, the team will reform shuttle for a good opportunity for your cameras. Red 4 and 5 rolling back to form Eagle formation as they pull up at four times the force of gravity at 400 miles an hour, climbing to 6,000 feet above us. Bastards flying into the sun. As they slow at the top of that loop to about 120 miles an hour, they've reformed that one big red arrow in the sky.
just where the sun is. Well, Her Majesty's Diamond Jubilee, yes, some red, white, and blue, and please, a round of applause for Her Majesty the Queen and Great Britain. flying the Typhoon, the Royal Air Force's newest fighter, where his duties were of quick reaction alert to protecting the airspace of both the United Kingdom and the Falkland Islands. Out to our right, you can see the team have formed a diamond with seven aircraft. We call this the Short Diamond, and this is the Short Diamond Roll. this morning, but the Renault is flying the same walk with the T1, which was designed as a fast jet weapons trainer and has been in service with the Royal Air Force since 1976. Jesus. It can fly over 600 miles an hour and up to 48,000 feet. It's very agile and precise, and we're about to show you why all of our pilots love to fly it. Out to the front, you can see the front five aircraft, reds 1 to 5, known as Enid, after Enid Blyton's famous line, have straightened. Wow, so for the start to our Hello. second half of the display, look directly to your front, get your cameras ready as the smoke comes on for the detonator. Five, telling 
Red One that the rollbacks are complete. It doesn't sound like he's having a lot of fun up there this morning. <laughs> And in your position to the right, look to your front again where you can see the synchro pair approaching. Red 7's Blue Smoke comes on as he performs a barrel roll around Red 6 for the Vortex. <laughs> Red 7 on our right is Synchro 2, Flight Lieutenant Chris Lyndon Smith who is a second year pilot with the team. He's a former Tornado GR4 pilot and has flown a number of operational sorties over Iraq before becoming a Hawk flying instructor and joining the Red Arrows for 2011. Synchro now descend down the hill back to 100 feet above the runway, flying at over 400 miles an hour each. They will fly the double rolls. closing at over 800 miles an hour again and they'll cross three times in a 360 degree 6G turn. This is the carousel. Davies, 
Dave's in his fourth year with the team, but while he's not in the display, he does have crucial flying and padding roles. And it's he and I who fly the spare jets to the display locations and make up the nine ship fly pass over this summer. He's actually flying in Red 7's back seat, so he, he pitches up to draw the symbol for infinity around the rest of the formation. The final manoeuvre on the display, ladies and gentlemen, this is the infinity break. And we are the Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team for two...